sure we got everybody here this morning on time. We ended up with one too many. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, being here again. I uh, extend my welcome to the Wellstar College of Health and Human Services. Uh, my task is to keep people on task and uh, keep us on time. I think we're running a few minutes late already, but May has made it very clear to me that I need to be the person, the sheriff, that keeps us on time. So with that, I um, will move along very, very quickly. Again, welcome to the panel on landscape of global health opportunities and challenges. We have five dynamic speakers here this morning. Actually, as I have uh, gotten to know them through their biographies, um, any one of them could take the whole session. But we're not going to have time for that, so we have limited them to 10 minutes, so please uh, wait and hold your questions. We'll have questions at the end of the panel, and hopefully you'll have other times as we have opportunities to network through the day to ask questions if you have them. So I'll begin with our first speaker is uh, Mr. Reynolds Jenkins. He is the president and CEO of Wellcock Star Health Systems. You might notice that my college is also uh, holds the namesake for his healthcare system. And we're very pleased and very proud of this. Reynolds Jenkins has uh, been the president and CEO of Wellstar Health Systems in Marietta since 2011. He is the former chief operating officer of Tenet Healthcare with 35 years experience in hospital management, managing more than 100 hospitals in 15 states for 35 years. Mr. Jenkins served as the chairman of board of, of both a large Medicaid Advantage Insurance Company in New Orleans and the Cleveland Clinic. He's a fellow of the American College of Healthcare Executives. Since joining Wellstar, some of Mr. Jenkins' accomplishments, and this is only a few, include the expansion of the physician-led clinical service lines, incorporation of strategic planning to include private practicing physicians, and the formation of the Georgia Healthcare Collaboration. Uh, truly, this is an opportunity for you to hear from an expert in American healthcare. Mr. Jenkins. Thank you, Dr. Stoll. Thank you. Is the mic on back there? I believe I'm here. Okay, well, thank you for inviting me here today. Uh, we relish our uh, partnership with Kennesaw State. It's been a very vibrant one, and we have some exciting things on the horizon. So the next two years, we'll have more to report uh, when we come forward. Uh, I chose as my topic uh, global implications and local reality. Uh, first on the word global, I think all of us who are at higher levels, uh, whether it be education or healthcare delivery or elected officials, uh, are all uh, dedicated to try and bring the best in education, health, and wellness to all of our fellow citizens and countrymen, uh, no matter what uh, location of the world that you come from. The, the challenge that we all are involved with is that uh, there's not enough money to be perfect in the delivery of all three of those components. And so we all are trying to uh, focus in on the key things where we can make the best difference and the best impact that we possibly can. Also on a global implication, my system, Wellstar Healthcare System, sits in Northwest Atlanta. We serve 1.4 million people. Uh, in that group, we have an extremely diverse a group of physicians from all over the world. Our, our nursing staff and our employees come from many countries, and there are over 30 different languages spoken in uh, the four counties that we serve. So uh, sometimes people have the perspective that if you're from the United States and Georgia, you're not global, uh, but let me assure you, we, we are very global in that context. The other word I chose was local reality. Uh, one of the things that we're trying to do in the United States uh, under the new Federal Affordable Care Act, which was passed by our Congress in 2010, is, is take a set of principles and apply them throughout the 50 states. But in reality, each of us have a different set of resources and opportunities within the cities and counties that we serve. And so those of us uh, at the lower levels of where we actually distribute care are busy at work in 2013 trying to take the guiding principles and create those into the reality of how we deliver that care locally. And, and really, uh, in the world that we deal in, there's three basic themes that we talk about a lot, and that's cost, uh, access, and innovation. And under the cost parameter, uh, in our world in the United States today, 
uh, revenue suppression is a thing that we're dealing with pretty rapidly already. Uh, our Congress uh, passed the sequestration law, and so for my health care system, that was a 20% reduction in available money to carry out our mission uh, just in this, this year alone. But our system has worked real hard over four years to get ready, and uh, we've been able to reduce our cost of doing business uh, by over 8% uh, already. So we, we did the first foundation and got ready for that. The second one is access. Uh, if you're in a growing area which has uh, tough traffic problems, then helping your citizens get into health care services in the uh, quickest way possible is both cost effective and helps them in protecting their jobs, which is extremely important to them. So we've embarked on a, an aggressive outpatient expansion uh, creating what we term as a health park. So if you think of a hospital without beds, and I've been hearing about that concept since the 1980s, and Wellstar is actually really doing it now in 2013, is a collection of doctors and doctor's offices built around urgent care, and then imaging, diagnostics, laboratory, and community education services so that we can uh, hold the cost down and provide the, the widest range of services that we can possibly do. Uh, we have three more health parks uh, under design phase. Uh, one we broke ground on two weeks ago. And, and so those allow us to extend away from the large hospital complexes in a more cost-effective manner. As far as innovation, uh, one of the big challenges in the new federal health care law is moving to the outpatient arena and doing things that healthcare has never done before. Many other uh, fields of study uh, understand predictive modeling. They, they understand how to create uh, uh, flows with technology. And, and this is a world that has to be invented in the United States now. And one of our speakers from India is going to talk about a subject, hopefully, that uh, they're more advanced on, telemedicine, which we really need to pay attention to in the United States. So within that innovation uh, at Wellstar, we've created uh, what's called the Center for Health Transformation. And we plan uh, on having at least 20 hospitals throughout the southeastern part of the United States come together so that we can share intellectual knowledge with each other. Many of us are trying to do the same things and pioneer some of the same solutions. Uh, but as those of you who are in the scientific study know, the more you have in the study, the better you can tell if it's a scientific solution versus a random lucky solution that you had that will not apply long term or to other situations. And, and we hope to really uh, take advantage of our relationship with Kennesaw State uh, to use some of our professors and graduate students to help us uh, in that particular regard as we gain light speed on that uh, this coming fall. So it's an exciting period of time, it's a challenging period of time, uh, but uh, our system has stepped up uh, and we've dedicated ourselves to trying to take the guiding principles that our government has given us. Uh, and then uh, lastly on the global implications, uh, I would say that again, we all face one similar problem, which is in healthcare cost, the Pareto rule applies. So 5% uh, of the folks consume 30% of healthcare dollars, 10% consume over 50% of the healthcare dollars. And, and so if there's anything we need to think about every day, it's not a million different things, it's how to keep that group of individuals healthy and well uh, and stable. So thank you, I'm glad to be here today, and I look forward to the comments the other speakers made. I'd just like to put a personal plug in here. Not only are they doing uh, innovative things, but they're my health care provider. And um, having had surgery at their place not long ago, I can tell you, you couldn't find a better place to be treated well. Thank you. So thank you. I really thank you. <laughs>